Unfortunately, it is raining, so guests aren't going to be too interested in going on all the rides, but hopefully we can get on as many rides as possible. So unfortunately, we're still getting a lot of guests stuck. So let's have a look at the areas that they're sort of in. So we've got one that's a bit of a loop round here. Um, for me, I either designed the roller coaster wrong, but seeing as it's currently broken down, I think I'm going to. Um, oh dear, we're going to have to get the uh, ride fixed. Uh, what we're going to do is basically we're going to switch it so the entrance and exit come out down here, and then we can remove this path, um, and that should hopefully stop people looping everywhere. Whilst we're doing that, uh, we just unlocked the wooden wild ro uh, mouse roller coaster. So we might be looking to add one of those later. Maybe we could have um, a runaway mine roller coaster. That would be pretty cool. Maybe we could add something more on this side of the park as well, because obviously we do have this wooden roller coaster. But um, I think there is a bit of a confusion with the way the paths are, and I think people are just walking around in circles. So have we um, got this ride fixed yet? Oh, here we go. Uh, handyman is, or a mechanic, should I say? It's uh, fixing it right now. There we go. There we go. So, um, I'll just put an exit there and an entrance there. And, uh, basically, out there and very similar in fact it's pretty much the same path there with the queue um, and I'm going to delete sort of well, this part of the path oh, oh accidentally got that guy uh, trapped Okay, so uh, we'll open up that ride again, and uh, <laughs> we'll um, delete this path. Hopefully, uh, less people can get lost. A bit worried about deleting the path over water. Don't want anyone drowning, like um, in <laughs> in Diamond Heights. That was uh. Very good. At least we've not had any crashes, crashes that have killed people in this um, in this park. There we go. I think everyone's out. There we go. Well, um, add some more seats because obviously people like sitting down. bins down here. Like so. So that's looping around a lot less. So hopefully people can get hopefully people won't get lost as much. Although to me this part is quite confusing. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if people get lost there. See more areas just of the park that loop, but I'm pretty sure every park I've done have looping areas. For example, what the Leafy Lake one that was just around a big lake, and plus it gets rather annoying when you get a lot of guests that can't find the exit and they're right next to it. Anyway. We've just hit over a thousand guests now, and our park rating is 
744, which is going down slightly, but uh, it's still over 600, which is what we need. And uh, we've just hit the amount of guests that we need in the park. So hopefully we can keep this up for the rest of the year and all of next year. So let's go ahead and have a look at adding a very simple um, corkscrew uh, roller coaster. Obviously, uh, quite an aggressive roller coaster. But um, I'm sure we can uh, make something good. And what do we have? We've got half loop, half corkscrews. So basically, we can make corkscrews. But we don't have full loops. Oh, wait, we do have full loops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create. One of my uh, favourite rides in well ever, um, which is I don't know if there's a an official name for this sort of ride, but it's um, I've seen it a couple of places um, under the name names of Boomerang and Missile. Um, so effectively, what it does is it does a it starts off with a heart flute does a half corkscrew, does another half corkscrew and a half loop to create this sort of uh, strange shape then it does a loop and then it just goes up to well, probably about there um, the th fun thing about this one is it's got a reverse um, start so if we can just add our exit there interest there. Um, if we create a reverse incline launch shuttle mode roller coaster and we can just test that and show you what I mean. So basically this roller coaster starts off going backwards up quite a steep drop. And when it gets to the top it drops and goes down. You do the half loop and the half corkscrew and then the half loop again. You do a full loop and then you go up to the top of um, the steep bit and then you drop back to all backwards which is it, it's such a surreal experience doing this sort of backwards roller coaster but it's, it's very fun and if I could uh, if I got a chance to go on another one of these roller coasters again I think I would so um, hopefully we'll get our test results back maybe we need to sort of increase the uh, height of these top bits I think they're about right at the moment let's see so it's got a high excitement rating, a high intensity rating, and a medium nausea rating. So I'm going to definitely open that. It's really good. Um, let's just get a queue. Lots of trees in the way in this area. There Unfortunately, we need um, a handyman to clear up a lot of areas around here. And I've noticed that um, at least one bench is broken. Let's just fix that. So maybe we need to sharpen up our security. But we'll see. We'll make it obviously to Japan 20 for the photo. Uh, I think that's pretty much a standard rate, Japan profit per photo. Um, and we'll make it £2 to go on the ride. Color scheme. I'm kind of liking this dark and red color scheme, but the um, the actual ride doesn't seem to go along with it. So we'll have that. In fact, I kind of like the idea of having these yellow stripes on quite a dark red uh, one. It's kind of like go faster stripes. So um, we'll go ahead and open that, and hopefully people go on it. We've got some people going in the queue already, and uh, really good. That's really good. So. Um, we're going to do some marketing campaigns. So we're going to market our new roller coaster, roller coaster one, which we'll name in a minute for four weeks. We're going to have free entry to the park for two weeks. We're going to have um, some free ice cream because obviously it's May. It's coming up to summertime. Advertising campaign for the park for four weeks and uh, free rides on um, trike bike. Why not for two weeks? So, um, obviously I was talking about sort of Boomerang uh, and uh, Missile as the sort of names for these roller coasters. So, what I'm going to call this is um, Boomerang. 
well, Boomerang. Not quite Boomerang, but obviously Boomerang. Interesting name. And uh, people are going there. Also, uh, whilst I am sort of in the finance window, uh, we've got this huge loan of £40,000, and we've actually got 30000 that we're sort of just using at the moment. So what I'm going to do is make it so we've only got the 10... Well, it depends if we need a lot of money. I think about 15,000, so we've got about 10,000 money just to spend on a lot of things. And then uh, we've got only got 15,000 loan. Um, I mean, we've just got up to 11,000 now, so it's not like we're low on money or anything. Our log flume's doing well, and our log flume is doing great. So I think this is really going to work out. I think there's a bit of dirt on the floor there, so I'm just going to have to get our honeyman. Get him to clean it up. There we go. Good. Good. So people are still getting lost. Oh, it's, it's a pain. I mean, it's pretty much just one area here, but I guess there's no real park map for sale in this area. So what I will do is add another information kiosk. here. Basically you get a lot of information chaos so people can get a map and find out where they are. So guests are commenting that our park entrance fee is very cheap and we could increase it to get more money. So currently it's £30, so we'll just raise that to 35 